Good morning. Does it work? Yeah. Good morning. Good morning. I would very much like to welcome you warmly to the fourth annual meeting of Radar Norm project here and online. Um, my name is Christiane pölzel fiol I am head of the unit National International Cooperation, Scientific Coordination and Social Aspects of Radiation. And as you might know, I took over this role from Ulrike Kulka in February. And um, with her change um, within BFS, with the change of position, we had also a change in the RADA norm coordination. And I would first very much like to thank or express my thanks to Ulrike for her work as a RADA norm coordinator until February. And I would very much like to welcome Warren. You all know him already and you know that he's the coordinator now, but I would very much like to welcome Warren as a RADA norm coordinator today and um, with this I would like to give the floor to him. <laughs> Thank you Cristiano. Um, yeah so welcome everyone to our fourth annual meeting. We're here once again for the fourth time. I guess it's the third time that we're actually meeting in person and it's really nice to see you all um, face to face. I think this is now the largest annual meeting that we've had so far with the most number of participants. So I think Ljubljana has been a very attractive destination to host our meeting. A big thank you to uh, Nadia, to Pia, to Neja, who is sitting at the registration desk, and everyone at EIMV for all the organization and the help. So yeah. Uh, welcome, especially to those of you who are not part of our consortium, who are externals, if you're a stakeholder. Um, to those of you online, I guess you can see me um, in the front. Uh, a warm welcome to you as well. And um, yeah, as um, as Christiana mentioned, the coordinator already changed in February of this year. Um, and I know I have big shoes to fill from Ulrika, um, but I hope that uh, um, I can also um, continue to support you as best as I can as a coordinator. Uh, Ulrika sends her greetings. Actually, she unfortunately cannot be here today. Uh, but she still follows the project and she is still in touch with a lot of you as far as I know. So we are here, June 2024. Um, we are almost about to start the last year of the project and we have actually accomplished quite a lot in the meantime. So 68 milestones, uh, 29 deliverables, two periodic reports and I must say a very successful um, project review that we accomplished in November of last year. It was very positively reviewed by the Commission and the external reviewer, uh, Marilyn, um, who was formerly at IRSN. And they said that uh, Radonome is making a lot of progress and uh, is very happy to see how far we have come so far. Um, as we are nearing the end of the project, um, there are a lot of deliverables coming up. So the majority will be towards the end of um, the project, but already a lot are due in summer of this year. And since they come um, together at one point, we ask that you please respect the deadlines and submit it to us two weeks before we submit it officially to, um, to the commission, because we try to read the deliverables as much as possible. So please send it to your work package leaders on time. This is a very humble request from the coordination team. Um, regarding the grant agreement, I've already mentioned that we have um, um, made a lot of amendments over the years. The most recent one was the change in reporting periods. Um, and this was um, to change the third reporting period from September of last year to August of this year. So it's a 12 month period, which means the third reporting phase would start in September of this year with a deadline in October. But this will be communicated later to you by email as well. We also have a small change from one of our participants in Work Package 2, who has now moved from Aarhus University to Gothenburg University 
Um, and so our house wants to terminate its participation in the consortium um, and Gothenburg would like to get into the consortium and this will also be taken up in a future amendment coming soon. So Radonorm has been very active, um, not just in basic research, but also in other fields. Um, we are very proud to have our new citizen science um, projects that have been going. And if you were at the panel discussion yesterday, you would have already heard a lot, a lot about their activities. And they have also um, applied for the European Union Prize for Citizen Science. And conveniently, the announcement of this prize is today at 11 o'clock. So uh, before lunch, we will, uh, I guess, announce the winners of this prize. So please, uh, yeah hold your horses until the, uh, the information is uh, made public. Uh, we also started a new um, research seminar series because we have a lot of deliverables coming out and a lot of um, publications. And this is basically to give you the opportunity to also talk about your results a bit more frequently rather than having to cram everything into an annual meeting once a year. Um, so if you have something that you would like to present or discuss to get out into the public, um, we encourage you to use these opportunities so you can always get in touch with me or with Nadia, um, and then we will try to slot you in. Um, I would also like to report we had a very nice um, group meeting with some representatives from industry at the last Radiation Protection Week um, in Dublin. Uh, where they were discussing the topic of radon monitors. And this is really uh, very interesting to see where we can talk about our intercomparison results and then get discussions going with members of the industry and try to find a way forward to improving systems there as well. Um, exactly. And then I would like to switch gears a bit and give you a bit of update from Work Package 7. Um, so we have managed to fund 100 travel grants so far in the last 14 calls, as you can see. Um, the one in 2024 was the most popular one, um, and so we also continue to encourage our early career researchers to apply for these travel grants as much as possible, make use of them. The next deadline will be um, at the end of this month. We also introduced um, a new type of travel grant called the Research Stay Travel Grant, um, because we noticed that um, there are some ECRs that go on um, longer exchange visits and the 1,000 euro limit is usually not enough. So this travel grant eliminates the, the budget limit, but we still ask that you also keep the costs justifiable. Um, and uh, this is also an opportunity for you to, um, to make use of these funds for long-term exchange visits and um, yeah, such travels. Uh, we have also funded 19 courses over the last four calls. These are some of the pictures from the more recent courses. Um, and um, we hope to have a final call for courses, which, uh, which will be announced soon with the deadline in September of this year. So it's a bit earlier than usual. Um, there are still funds for these courses, and we highly encourage you to apply for them. Um, and if you have an interesting idea, please just send us an application and just... Um, um, send us your ideas and we will try to accommodate them as much as we can. I would also just like to mention regarding the courses that we had initially a budget of 700,000 euros of which we used up 300,000, which means there's still 400,000 remaining. This has now been divided up. Uh, we had a meeting with the executive board in order to see how we can do this. Um, and 150,000 will go into the next call for courses. And we also want to give 100,000 to support uh, publications with at least one ECR member as a co-author. So it still stays within the framework of um, education and training activities. And then um, 150,000 going into the research stay travel grant. So this is basically how it's divided up for the moment. And we're going to see how it goes over the next few months. Then switching gears again to work package eight, um, coming to dissemination activities. So we've, we've come out with about 38 publications. This is actually a number from a few weeks ago. So there have been some new publications since then. Um, but it's interesting to see that um, uh, there are still more papers coming out. The impact factor is even rising. Um, and we're happy to see that all your results are coming out. And we know that there are also already several publications or manuscripts in the pipeline and about to come out soon. We are also in the process of discussing 
a special issue for radonorm articles in one journal. Uh, we have not selected a journal yet. This is still being put together, together with the executive board, and we will inform you as soon um, as we have some information. Uh, we hope that this would ideally run from September, October of this year until the end of the project. So this would also be an, a good opportunity for you to publish. Uh, we've also managed to release, uh, release 52 news articles since September of last year. We've had six editions of the newsletter come out. Um, and speaking of news articles, this is also an appeal. If you have some news, if you were at a conference or participating somewhere where you were talking about radonorm activities, please just send us a small text that we can post on social media and on our website. And uh, we've had uh, some new stakeholders um, join the project as well, and we've continued to participate in some meetings and conferences over the years. Of course, the bigger radiation protection uh, conferences, but also interestingly in um, other conferences where radiation protection is not the focus. Um, things that come to mind are the Lang Cancer Congress and also the um, some conferences on indoor air or clean air. So it's really encouraging to see that uh, we are poking our nose into other conferences as well and trying to get our results out as much as possible. If you have participated in a conference or a course or something where you have talked about radonorm results, we also ask that you inform us as the coordinator or your work package leaders because we have to update what is called the monitoring table on the website um, since these results feed into the next periodic report. And so please just get in touch with, um, with your work package leader uh, for more information. The next big conference coming up is, of course, the Radiation Protection Week. This will most likely be our last Radiation Protection Week as, as the Radonorm Consortium. And so um, we've managed to get um, a special session dedicated to radon and norm. A uh, big thank you to those who sit on the scientific committee who managed to put this together. Um, and I hope to see a lot of you also at this conference um, presenting your results. So um, what are we doing this year at this meeting? You would have already seen um, this diagram here, which presents the um, the um, work packages in Radonom. And in the middle of this diagram, I'm going to try to, yeah. In the middle of this diagram, you see recommendations and impl implementation. And so we, as a project, recognize it's not just about basic research, but we try to make sure that uh, research is also translated into recommendations and applications that come out of them. And so this is the goal from this year's um, meeting to see how translatable our results are actually. Um, of course, fundamentals are important. We need to deal with them. This is what basic science is about. We have to answer these questions that come up. Uh, but we also try to see that um, our, our results don't just hang in the scientific community, but that we try to um, get stakeholders um, and the public to also participate as much as we can. So you would notice as you go through the program that um, in each of the sessions, in each presentation that you hear, you will hear aspects of all of these three integrated into them. So it's not just to say this presentation only deals with recommendations or this presentation only deals with applications. So it's going to be as diverse as it can be. Um, but the goal here is to showcase that we are moving in the right direction. We're trying to get our results out. We're trying to get discussions going, and we want to um, make sure that, um, yeah, our results are as implementable as they possibly can be. So that's it from my side. I welcome you all once again to this annual meeting, and I wish you um, a very pleasant time, fruitful discussions. I kept the coffee breaks as long as I possibly can, so hopefully enough time for networking as well. Um, and I'm going to close my speech here and just give you the flow um, also to ask any questions. We have some members of our financial team online as well. Um, so if you have any burning questions that you would need to ask us, feel free to do it. Otherwise, you can always write to us by email. We try to accommodate organizing a video conference um, or something like that in order to answer your questions. And uh, yeah, thank you for your attention. Any particular questions regarding administrative issues? 
online? No one online? No, no. okay. Ren, Ren, oh, yeah, just... Francesco is online. Yes. Francesco is just... no, uh, thank you very much for your comprehensive presentation. Just wanted to mention that regarding um, um, uh, publications, um, uh, in addition to the, the, the um, uh, special issue that you you mentioned uh, uh, that uh, uh, are going to be decided uh, for a rather non project. Uh, there are also other, uh, let me say, special issues that could be used by um, uh, partners of rather non project uh, to publish the paper, um, uh, including one specific on radon, unfortunately, not on radon and norms, uh, norm, but only on radon. Uh, that uh, I and other five uh, guest editors. Are um, uh, have started few uh, few days ago um, on uh, frontiers on public health, and um, this uh, special issue is very broad in in uh, in um, uh, objectives from uh, from measurements to policy and uh, risk estimates uh, and uh, dosimetry and so on. So uh, actually, uh, most of the of the issues on radon of radon on project could be find an appropriate place to be published in uh, um, Frontiers on, uh, on uh, public health. That, that's all. Thank you again. Thank you, Francesco. Good. I don't see any burning questions at the moment, so if something comes to your mind, feel free to write to us at radonorm at bfs.de. The email address is up on the slide. Um, with that, then I can open up the first session and invite Augusto and Peter um, to chair the first session. Um, just some um, basic information. Um, I think Jad, is Jad here? Jad is there. Jad will be going around with a microphone later on. So um, after the presentations, there will be some time for discussion. Um, I mean, after each presentation. Um, so if you have a question, just raise your hand. Jad will come around with a mic. Please talk into the mic so that everyone online can also hear you. Um, if you have a question online, please just type it into the chat um, and then you would be heard here in the, in the plenary session as well. So over to you.